Operators are standing by. These are the boxes. And I will tell you what David Fass is going to say. I can tell you how God is. He gave this to me a year ago. And then he said to me in December, November, I want you to pull back in ministry. And I don't want you to travel because I need to fortify you because something is coming. And I'm going to need you to be able to carry weight in the anointing. And he said, for everybody that's watching, that sold that 133, starting now, I'm sending you this box. The post office is open. UPS is open. A 5 a.m. prayer t-shirt which you will put on when we go live at 5 a.m. A prayer shawl, which you will use during consecration. A water bottle that you would use to drink liquids only until 6 p.m. And then it's one meal a day. And after you eat that one meal, you go back to drinking. And as we progress, we will remove the food. These kind come out by much fasting and praying. You can do it by cash out. You can do it by cash out because we're going to send you back. We're going to send you back and we want you to confirm it. Once you have sold it by cash out, we're going to send you back a notification to make sure that we have your address to send you your prayer box and send you your consecration. This is the only way you can do it because this is what he said to me. The phone number is right there on the screen, 914-810-7090. 914-810-7090. He said, everybody that's watching right now, and don't worry, you just keep calling. If the line is busy, you hang up and call again. Hit that cash out. No, 133 now is an investment for you. It's an investment for your family. Because prayer shawls are coming off of a real. These ones are being prayed over for real. Dentine oil have been sitting under the altar for more than 17 years. We're not talking about a game. We're not talking about people that just run to the store and get something and call it prayed for. No, we're talking about the real anointing because that's what we need in this hour. These are prayer handkerchiefs that you would wear on your and place the anointing all over your family. All you need is a little bit and put it on your forehead. God will recognize the anointing. Somebody lift your hands up and worship him right now. Somebody lift your hands up and worship him right now. Somebody lift your hands up and worship him right now. And you watching and you saying, Dr. Bonner, I'm going to sow a seed into this world. $33, hit that cash out button and sow it. Somebody said, well, how are you asking people? To sow in this hour. What the Bible said. Is it sowed in the time of famine. And he reaped the same year. We sow because we are believers. That's why. Oh, somebody prays. We sow because our trust is in God and not in our job. Oh, somebody give God a praise. Because God will supply all needs according to my riches and glory. He said, but it's time for people to come under, come under the tent, come under, come under the tent, come under. Oh, my Put your names up on the screen as they sow. Put their names up on the screen.
consecration package. God is calling the past. Just like he did in the book of Joel. He used his prophet. He's calling the past. Every family, every family, every family. And some of you all are saying, I've never done this before. I've never done this before. I've never done anything like this before. But there was a whole lot that God told the children of Israel to do that they never did before. He told them to build a tabernacle and they had never seen one before. He told them to build a brazen altar and they had never seen one before. He told them that I want you to build an ark of the covenant and I want you to build utensils and a table of showbread and they had never done it before. Uh, uh, Audrey, I see you. Terry, I see you. Myra Glenn, I see you. Gracias. 